Hey, Donnie Gupton Flooring My Life TV. And in this video, we're gonna go over hardwood flooring trends in 2015. So some of the things that we're noticing right off the bat is domestic species of wood are being chosen over exotics, meaning your oaks, red and white oak, hickory, walnuts, are more popular right now than the Brazilian cherries, the Santos mahoganies, the Brazilian oaks, uh, Brazilian walnuts, anything like that. Uh, probably a little bit having to do with rainforest and people really wanting to buy domestically, keeping our money here in the States right, right where we're at in controlling the forest. Not only that is the texture and the looks. Um, we're seeing a lot of white oak options, especially rift and quartered options. Um, and people are really liking that look, as well as the hickory. Hickory is the, most, uh, the hardest domestic species wood and lots of multicolor, lots of natural character. So we're seeing lots of stained colors of hickory. The other thing that's uh, trending in 2015 is the wide plank. Uh, more and more we're seeing, you know, five, six, seven, eight, even 10 inch wide products, and they're continuing to be manufactured. Uh, that's what a lot of the new products and new things that you'll see in 2015, what we saw last week at Surfaces, were a lot of wide plank options. Good thing about wide plank is, you know, a lot of products are pre-finished and you're gonna eliminate half of the overall edge. And from a design standpoint, and from my standpoint, you know, being passionate about hardwood flooring is, you can really appreciate the beauty of a product that's, say, 10 feet long with eight inches wide. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of wood character to see in a board like that. Next thing is texture. Uh, with the textures is, you have hand scraping, which has definitely been popular for the last few years, any type of distressing. Um, but the one that's really sticking out that we're seeing a lot more of, and that's wire brushing. Not really like uh, the look of wire brush, and especially with a busy lifestyle, wire brushing is going to hide and disguise most, uh, most imperfections. Um, it's a really excellent texture, but again, it's all personal preference. So you're seeing a lot more texture on the floors. Um, we're probably doing about you know, at least half texture versus smooth uh, finished products. Moving right into finish, you know, what we're seeing still be the trend is matte finishes. So there's a lot of natural oil finished products on the market. And now polyurethane is creating a lot of matte finish, um, you know, natural products to look like natural oil. So the polyurethane matte finish is definitely the way to go. And again, for lifestyle, the less sheen, the less you see in terms of imperfection. I think that's why it's going that way. Finally, the last trend we're seeing is, is with colors. We're seeing a lot of different things all over the map, but one thing that's standing out is a lot of dark, bold colors are definitely out there. Grays, all different types of grays, almost even into the blues. We're seeing a lot of grays and blues out there. And then you can always go on the you know, opposite side of the spectrum with some nice whitewash colors, so, um, as well as some two-tones. So there's a lot of different things out there color-wise, um, but grays are definitely staying popular as well as the dark, rich colors. This is Donnie Gupton, Flooring My Life TV. Subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter at Donnie Gupton. We'll talk to you soon. Formaldehyde and flooring. Many as you know, uh, watched the 60 Minutes the other night with a large.